Today we are going to discuss the Disney Princess. What was that? Oh no! What's happening? This is not how Disney princesses are supposed to be! Wait, did Frozen just break Disney princess? Okay, now that we're all on the same page, you may recall that the topic at hand is the Disney princess formula. Disney's set recipe to concoct their pop culture poster children. And it contains all that is core to the Disney princess brand. Like a set of character traits that span nearly a century's worth of film history. That is what makes them distinct. It's what makes a movie character feel like she's a princess. And it sets expectations for the audiences that go to see these movies. There are lots of things that most Disney princesses have in common. They have an I want song, villains dying as a consequence of their own actions, magic of various forms, and of course lots and lots of animals, lots of lots of singing, and lots and lots of singing with animals. But these aren't what make up the formula. Instead, the formula is made of the plot structure that creates the stories around these princesses. The character traits of Disney princesses are not what's core to what we think of them, but instead the movie that surrounds them, things that she does or things that happen to her, sure is. Step one, the princess is a victim of some terrible or traumatic experience. And this event doesn't need to be the actual end of the world, but it needs to feel like it for the princess. Think of the Little Mermaid's argument with her dad or Tiana losing the restaurant she just barely tried to purchase. In script 101, this is called an inciting incident. Step two, the princess rises above her tragedy by her sheer goodness. This is Aurora making the best of her being adopted and Cinderella being happy even though she's surrounded by people that hate her. Step three, the princess meets and falls in love with a boy. Totally self-explanatory. Step four, the princess is put in extreme peril, like Rapunzel facing the danger of being locked up or Ursula tries to kill Ariel. Step five, the princess is saved by that boy. And step six, true love ensues and conquers all. That's the six step formula for an instant Disney princess. This exact pattern is true for seven out of 10 of the most iconic princess stories and two more follow it with variation on only one point. And the 10th one, well, that's Frozen. Frozen doesn't follow the formula at all. In fact, it goes directly against it. Frozen was an experiment in a climate where audiences were asking for Disney's princess formula to change to see if changing everything would pay off. Let's break it down. Step one, princess experiences major trauma. Check and sort of not check. Sure, Elsa's parents die, but Elsa is the source of her own trauma. Step two, princess overcomes trauma by sheer goodness. And nope. Elsa is our first princess anti-hero. She's a lot darker than previous entries have been, and she spends almost the entire movie battling her own demons. None of her goodness even shows up until the very end of the film. Step three, princess meets and falls in love with a boy. Again, nope. Anna meets and falls in love with a boy, but he eventually turns out to be the villain, for they're turning the formula on its head. Step four, princess is put in extreme peril. Nope. Elsa puts everyone else in the story in extreme peril and is not in extreme peril herself. Step five, princess is rescued by a boy. Nope again. In fact, no one in this story is rescued by a boy. Well, I mean, I guess the troll grandfather is a boy, so maybe that counts? Step six, true love ensues. Well, yes and no. Ever the contrarian, here Frozen includes the tropes of true love but turn them on its head again, and force the audience to ask themselves what actually counts as true love. I mean, but seriously, what actually counts as true love? Frozen broke the whole Disney formula, and boy ever did it pay off. Frozen was the highest grossing animated film of all time. It's been two years since its initial release, and Frozen fever still isn't over. Frozen is not only the nail in the coffin for the traditional princess formula, but it is the $1.2 billion nail billion. And now, the anti-princess is the most popular princess at the ball. And the funny thing is that even if some nostalgic Disney creator did want to go back to the original formula, they'd have to deal with that constant whispering in the back of their mind. Frozen made a billion dollars. A billion. So yeah, I still think we will never get another traditional Disney princess.